and welcome back to the workshop for another Making the Most of Mondays. I've had a lot of orders over the weekend for different pouches, so I am going to show you how we make them, what goes into them. You may have tuned in to see a little bit about the sewing machine. Well, I've had a bit of a cold the last few days and I haven't had a chance to get it working, so that will hopefully come next week. But in the meantime, let's show you some of the work I'll be doing today. So this is the sort of pouch I'm mainly going to be making this week, uh, which is our medium possibles pouch. It's a little belt pouch, um, just to put your bits and bobs in, or a first aid kit or something like that. It's quite popular. Um, so I'll show you the mould, which uh, people often ask me about. Difficult to describe, but um, basically you've got a forming block, which is a block that you've shaped and then um, screwed onto a board, and like the negative part that slots over the top. You wet your piece of leather that's going to go on there. It's a bit trial and error, really, uh, to get your shapes right, but because we've been doing so many, we know exactly what shape we need to get the most out of the leather and the best out of the uh, out of the uh, warmer. So you dip it into some lukewarm water. It doesn't have to be hot. Pop it into the, the drink, like this. This is some vegetable tanned leather. This is some um, free-range... British leather, which is something we've changed over to recently, so they're uh, beasts that have been uh, allowed to roam outdoors, not kept in any horrible buildings or anything like that. And um, it's a very good uh, British leather because they're obviously out in a more harsh climate than um, Spain or Italy, and it gets a really good tough leather. That's, that's the only amount of time you need in there really, just a few seconds and it, you can see it goes all wibbly wobbly. So you take it to your frame and you can see it's a whole different, different ball game now that it's wet. So you shape it round roughly with your fingers and then what I like to do is get a few little tacks and just tack down the side just so it doesn't slip about as you're moulding it. So give those tacks. Obviously where you're putting those in you want it to be outside of where your completed article is going to be. So I'll make sure they're right on the outside and I'm not going to... it's trying to get away. It's not going to be where I'm going to want to do the stitching. Right so that's in. Give it a rough little press around. Make sure you don't push your nails on it because that'll leave a mark. Then you get your negative part and you push it over the top just a little bit and you get these wonderful clamps and pop those on. So I'll get that first one on and then this will start to squeeze down. And if I've got that wide enough, oh yeah just about. Squeeze one on there, one on each side. If you've got a bigger former you might want a few more extra clamps and then you just squeeze all those down and wind them in until until it sort of squeezes together so a little bit on each one as it gradually goes down there's a few good books out there on how to do this and how to get the best out of the uh, the different shapes that you can do Obviously there's limitations and there's a lot of things you need to know about types of leather that this will work on. Right, so we squeezed it down. Maybe go a little bit more there. Sometimes if you've soaked it quite a while you'll see the, the water oozing out. But this one looks like it's about right. So there, you've squeezed it in. Then I'll leave that in there while I... Um, do some other parts of the pouch. Um, I can take that off in about 10 minutes because it would have squeezed it down and then I'll put that in a warm place to start drying off um, and then it'll probably be ready um, in about 24 hours or so. And what you end up with once you've dried that off and taken it off of the former is a shape like this, a very stiff piece of leather and the shape of the front of your pouch. You've got this extra bit on there, so you want to cut that off. So I get these little dividers, 
draw a little line around. You just leave, need enough space to get your stitching line in as you get further along and you just cut this off. Good stout pair of uh, leather scissors. No problem getting through that. Go all the way around. There we go. So you're cutting off those little holes that you've made with the, the little tack. So that can be thrown aside. And then you can see it starts coming to life. That's part of your pouch. And this is the back of the pouch that I've cut out just to give you an idea of what you're making. It suddenly starts to come to life and start become something and then you'll put your, before you sew that together, you'll put your belt loop on the back and do any embellishments that you want to do. So I've got a few of these medium ones to do. I've got some of these large ones and I've also got a couple of Leathermans to do which will go on this, this uh, different former got the charge and the surge and different different sizes of leatherman that I can do on that one so I better get on with these now because some of them have been ordered for Christmas gifts so I don't want to keep people waiting um, you might wonder why I'm wearing a badge with my name on it seeing as you know what my name is and so do I but um, when I was a kid I could never find anything that had my name on it uh, a badge or a mug or or uh, a key ring or anything like that. And I saw this in Cardiff the other week and it was like being seven years old again, the excitement that this badge generated. So I'm wearing it on this Monday and I'm wearing it with pride. And I'm the only one here, so uh, that's fine. Tune in next time, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave any comments you want to, only nice ones, and hopefully see you next week.